Oh, well, it always sounds so much better in the TV shows. So today we're doing a little bit of experimentation, if you hadn't already guessed. You may have seen in one of my previous videos that we used different things like to try and get ink off of cards. You know, if you had like felt tip or biro or that kind of thing, if you could remove it. And one of the things we used was acetone. But the problem with the acetone was that it didn't just take the ink that you put on the card, it took the ink off the card. But then that got me thinking, you know, hollow cards. Now I know that sounds weird, but hollow cards are technically two layers, right? That's why some people can weigh them in order to find which packs of hollow foil cards in, in the original sets, because it has that extra layer, which makes it slightly more weighted. The top layer is obviously the pictures you see, like, you know, with the writing on and the name and the, the character in the middle and all that kind of good stuff. And it's made out of ink. The hollow layer isn't. It's made out of hollow foil. Does that mean it will survive acetone if you put it on there? Can we get a card that is just clean, Hollow foil. Well, that's what I'm here to find out. I'm wearing gloves this time because the last time I did it, it hurt my hands. The reason I'm choosing to do this now is because I'm not usually one that's in favor of destroying cards willy-nilly. I'm not. I think all cards are sacred. But with celebrations, we've got so many common hollow cards that actually money-wise and even, you know, rarity-wise, it doesn't really matter at the minute. <laughs> we could breathe new life into cards that were destined to sit in your bulk folder forever. Anyway, let's get started. Because we're doing quite delicate work last time, we used cotton buds. But this time we need to be a bit more uh, hands-on, so we're going to use a little microfiber cloth to see what happens. I don't think the brand matters when it comes to the nail polish slash acetone. Um, but oh, jeez. But one thing I will say is you probably want it to be odourless and colourless. It's weird, isn't it, how you can always feel that your gloves are wet because it feels like your hands are in water. Quick status update. Oh, that's blue. We are losing the top layer here. But tell you what, this gives me the sensation of a scratch card. <laughs> right, I'll be going for about one minute now. Let's have a quick look. Oh, yeah. That's blue. <laughs> and that is hollow pattern. It's a lot more silver than I was expecting, though. No? All right, we'll keep going, though, because we want to get the whole card just hollow. Oh, yeah. Huh. Now, that's something I wasn't expecting. So in a surprise move, the red writing seems to be staying. I mean, this could be temporary, and it could just be because there's an extra layer of ink, you know, makes it harder to get off. I'm also finding that you need to be quite generous with the amount of acetone you're using. So if you're ever going to do this, 100% use gloves. You do not want to be soaking your hands in acetone. Also, don't drink it. Don't drink, don't. Going to try a slightly different method. Oh. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> oh, swimming. Okay, but look how quickly that is disappearing now. Oh, I have soaked the card, though. I did bring tissue for such an occasion. Okay, so we can now see that the red wording is disappearing slowly. Jesus, this is hard. Also, I recommend doing this in a well-ventilated place because, oh my goodness, the fumes. Oh, I'm sorry, Palkia. Relevant, though, you know, with um, Legends Arcus being out. Uh, we're definitely getting there. <laughs> The card is definitely losing some uh, structural integrity here. Oh, but that could be because I did like dump a load on it. So, you know, yeah. Okay. I've been going for about an hour. I think we're there. <laughs> it's not pretty, um, <laughs> but it is all, all hollow foil. Um, as you can see, all the liquid has leaked into the sides, but that's probably down more to me being so liberal. Um, with dumping the acetone on it. At the same time though, you have to be liberal otherwise like, all the effective component of the acetone just fades away into the freaking air. So yeah, there you go. So that's actually what's going on behind the ink. That's the hollow foil there. Probably chose a really boring one. Realising now that it's literally just silver on this one. <laughs> but obviously there are others that aren't, that do have patterns to them. Again, I'm not actually rec- I, um, I feel like I should go to Pokemon jail now. <laughs> yeah, technically speaking, if you, you could do this to any card, and you'd have the hollow. It's weird. I don't know why you'd do it. This was a lot of effort, the results aren't that good, but it's proof that you can do it. And it's interesting at the very least. It's not a very nice thing to do. I only did it because, well, we got these cards in abundance and well, it was, it was science. <laughs> science led me to this. But yeah, don't, don't do it. Don't, don't, it's not worth it, don't do it. Although we can now see the layers of the card. So let's slowly start taking them apart. So as promised, this is the hollow foil layer. There we go. It's coming off nice and easy. Ah, there you go. That's the hollow foil. 
just looks like tinfoil. It is basically tinfoil. <laughs> then we can start pulling the back off as well. That's the thing, this has all been super softened up by the acetone now, so it's all coming apart real easy. Boom! And then we have the back of the card. And then as promised, we have this middle layer. Now, because it didn't come off cleanly, because well, it hasn't been soaked and stuff like that, I've just ripped it off. Um, it looks white on both sides. It's not. Um, it's more of a, a, a murky grey dark colour, usually. So there you go, we completely destroyed everything in front of us for basically no gain. Uh, great time. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs>